Hello, welcome to this class where we are adding our first layers to the project of QGIS. So without further ado, let's start in. With me, I have QGIS already open from my previous lecture. Very blank. We've looked at the user interface and everything. So by now, we should know that we need to go to the side toolbar for us to add the layers, how you can access is the, the open data source manager here. You left click, and these are the different types of data you, you can add. It's almost the same with the browser. Here you, you are specifying what you want to get. The other way is you can come on layer and you have data source manage all oh, there's a shortcut control l so if i do control l there is my data source already open so i'll go on vector then i'll select file then under source here i'll click on these three dots it will open the computer then i'll go to this folder I'll go to this folder, exercise data 3.22, I'll open it. Then I'll go to shape file. Then let's see, let's add protected layers. So how you add, as you can see, there are quite a number of them. So select the one which has got shape file type dot shp. Then click open, then click add. It should pop up. So if I come on the layers, there it is. There it is. If I close this, I go, I right click on it, zoom to layer. Yeah, there it is. So I right clicked, zoom to layer to see where where it was so that's one way you can add a shape file the other way you can add a shape file is let me do this so that you can see that as soon as i add it's displayed on the on the layers so i'll do this add it on top yeah then i'm just customizing so the other way you can add is uh, already created a shortcut for myself. So under uh, shape file here, as you can see, this method now just shows me the actual shape file. It doesn't show me all those. So let's say I want to add rivers. So I can drag and drop on the map canvas. It will show even on the layers. There it shows. I can drag places. There you go. They show there. I can drag water. There you go. There you go. They are all on the layers. So this is another way you can add the shape file. So now let's add the geo package. So we'll go, let's use a layer this time around, data source or control L. Then let's go to geo package. Then you see where it says new, click on new, it will open the folder for shapefile previously. So go in, in the exercise data. Just at the bottom, you have training data. GPKG is the file for your packet. So click on it, open, ensure to connect. Then all the files will show. The your package is a database, a mobile database. All the files will show. These are the files that are in there. You can select all of them and then add. As you can see, they have been added. So uh, as we can see that it's quite adding up now. It's adding up how that different data sources, in terms of type, are being added to the map canvas and QGIS. So let's also add. So this time I always a shortcut, control L, then go to spatial light new 
Then in the same folder down, you have land use dot specialite, select it. Ensure to connect because these are databases, job package and specialite uh, databases. Select, then add. As you can see, the land use has added right there. So let me take it on top. I can drag and take it on top. How I drag this, I left clicked and then I moved. So as you can see, that black line is showing where. I want it to add, then I let go. Then it adds. So this is how you add your data to QGIS. As you can see, the data has been has been added. Let me add some more some more layers. I will use the shortcut Control L. Go in browser. Uh, go Zambia. Uh, let me add uh, administrative boundaries. I'll add district. I'll double click. There it is. As you can see. Let me also add transportation road use. There it is. Let me add uh, health facilities. Double click, there they are. So if you want to know where this data is, you can use a base map. That's where base maps come in very handy. They help you to know where they are. So this place is in uh, as you can see these names here. So if I zoom out in terms of you can tell it's in Cape Town, this is South Africa, and there is the, Zamb the data for Zambia which I I added. So if I want to go to any of them, I can right click, zoom to layer, takes me there. For Zambia, I can right click, zoom to layer, takes me there. So this is how you add your different types of data coming from different sources. It could even be a remote uh, database or database on the hard drive, like I showed you, SQLite and Geo package and even a shapefile. And this is coming from a database from Google and OpenStreetMap. So we have explored how data can, can be added. So feel free to add to, if you want to remove the layers that you've added, you can right click on the layer. It should give you remove layer. To ask you remove one legend, then you say yes. Then as you can see on the status bar to give you one legend entries remove. The other way is you can select. And then as you can see, if you move your cursor here, it says remove layer. If you click on it, remove one layer yes like that the other way is there are also shortcuts if you like working with shortcuts when you do this it's control d so if you do that and you say control d there you go one and the same one and the same thing so you can add or remove layers just like that so it's been an interesting uh, course or topic so i'd encourage you to practice with the data that you have, add, remove, so that you can get familiar. See you in the next class.